Welcome to this ceremony, the super full blue moon, August 30th, 2023. And yes, if we're looking at the numbers here, we're getting three and two is five and two and three is also five. So we are here on a 10, the completion. Welcome to this ceremony, the super full blue moon, August 30th, 2023. And yes, if we're looking at the numbers here, we're getting three and two is five and two and three is also five. So we are here on a 10, the completion. We've gone through a very strong and intense time of activations and invocations of new codes and even the operating system heart has all opened up for you. The 10, the completion in the Shaman Tarot means it's the small medicine wheel and the small medicine wheel is what we're using for our ceremony today. We're trying to be close to the time, as here for us it is at 8.34, and we are beginning now this ceremony at 8.03. So we are here and inviting you into the space at whatever time you choose to enjoy the ceremony and this Chakana Medicine Wheel sound tuning. It's about letting go those coping mechanisms of fear and suffering that have held us, especially over the last couple of years, but also over times, timelines, the lineage, and also our soul's journey. So what does this full moon have to offer to us? It's a blue moon, most likely the brightest of this year as a super moon. The sun is in Virgo. So just listen without thinking, if you may, to allow the cosmos and the planets to talk to you in preparation for this journey. So the full moon is in Pisces in the topical astrology. You could feel anxiety, but yet they just take you deeper and beyond with these cosmic energies. Spiritual insights, a time for self-care, fresh air and vibes that take you out of your emotional roller coasters. If you were to look in the sky and use the app, Sky View, you will find that this full moon is in Aquarius. And that is here to push you so that you evolve and hear what is really going on. This supermoon illuminates a luminous glow, an invitation into homo luminous. Attune to your feelings and express them. Now, when you go out in the night sky, as we just did a while ago in the beautiful sacred valley of Peru, Saturn is super close to this full moon. And Saturn represents the foundations of our relationships with all. So just allow these planets that are at play in the night sky to talk to you in preparation for this journey. So interesting here today, and of course over the next couple of days and weeks, seven planets in retrograde. So just listen and see where they take you and who you are choosing to take on your journey. Uranus, the personal freedom, the rebel. What outdated perspectives are holding us and you? 
Can we look from new lenses, release the old ways of doing things, a whole new world from inside out? Or is it Pluto that gets your attention, taking you in the dark domains, endings of cycles, karma and fate, to face and embrace and to move forward in your life, in your ascension? A deep transformation beyond light and dark, reclaiming our shadows, an invitation to come into communion with all the parts of ourselves so we can accept this metamorphosis. So you will know if Pluto is calling you. Also in retrograde, Saturn. How do you feel about the foundations of your relationships around you? The relationships with yourself, others, business, friendship, nature, earth, the cosmos. Or maybe Neptune in retrograde is calling you, bringing you confusion to go within, to go on a spiritual exploration. Where can it take you? transformation into more clarity what may be the gift or is it Chiron that is getting your attention asking you have you truly healed how much have you healed others and self have you let go of ego that held you back from realizing your own uniqueness and shining your light? Or is it Venus? Yes, still in retrograde. Is it time to reflect on these relationships about love with self and others and to embrace this divine feminine to be here, to be safe and sound and ready to contribute and to serve? And finally, it could be Mercury, the last one that is in retrograde, seeing beyond the illusions, allowing the interruptions in technology and communication to take you beyond. What shows up for you in your communication and connection to technology? Find your space. So whoever is calling you, can take it on the Chakana medicine wheel. In the south, it's about letting go. In the west, it's about connecting and relating and consciously choosing to evolve. In the north, we are getting into a higher level of consciousness. And finally, in the east, it's about healing and shifting so that we can bring it all to the center Burn in the fire what no longer serves and bring it into the heartbeat of our wholeness. So let's begin. As you are in communion now with this super full blue moon and as we're going on this journey together. Let the journey on the Chakana Medicine Wheel begin. Let's do together three deep breaths into the heart. The first breath to connect to your heart light. So let's do it. Inhale deeply, deeply. Connect to the heart. And exhale very slowly. Inhale again to connect to your heart light. Feel it.
inhale again to activate your heartbeat, your rhythms. And the last breath. Inhale to fill your space with your heart light. Continue breathing and connect to your physical body and relax. Feel how every cell of your body rests and smile. Connect to your symbolic body with your senses and your thoughts and relax. And connect to your luminous body and step out with your luminous body. Now, walk for a while until you don't know the space anymore. Just enjoy your walking with your luminous body. Being so connected with your senses. Just walk and walk. Enjoy everything around you. Feel your heart light in your heart. Feel your rhythms. And when you see a bridge, you will cross and you will meet us over there. We embrace and then we all walk together for a while. Then we come to a big space. We are coming to the Chacana. The Inca cross can be seen. Inside of it is a medicine wheel. Enjoy the sight and energy of this amazing place. Connecting to the magic connecting to the wisdom, to the light, and to the love. So let's go to the south, entering the medicine wheel through the Chakana. It's a PowerPoint to alignment and letting go. What is calling you today on this beautiful full moon? What are you aligning with? What, what resonates? Who is calling you? The moon in Pisces and or Aquarius? One of the retrograde planets? Mercury, Venus, Chiron, Saturn, Pluto, Uranus, or Neptune. The one that is working with you today is coming to you now. What are you ready to let go? What coping no longer serves to fight or fear, to flight or freeze, or to fall? Na-re-na-re-na-re-o 
Purajeramaya Stepping off the south and in the west, where the relational dynamic awaits us. How do you connect? How do you relate? What are the old dynamics that hold you? Are you getting angry? Are you getting anxious? Do you get worried and scared? Are you stuck? Do seek peace outside of you and keep yourself shut down? Enjoying the west and yet ready to move ahead. Moving into the north, entering through this beautiful jagana onto the deer, where you find choice point consciousness, consciously choosing to evolve. What plays you? What triggers those old coping patterns what is the pain that makes you believe this is a way to deal with your pain? Connect to your higher, super heart consciousness that is free and light and that helps you to see beyond what seems to be the pain. Imagine beyond this pain and the old coping patterns that hold you in the pain. Now let's thanks to the north. It is time to step on the east. So let's step to the access point healing. Are you ready to heal and shift those old pain and the coping mechanisms that held you in the pain? Are 
are you ready to let the ease heal you? That wound finally healed. And you may see what allows your healing. together, your choice, your power, together. And so it's time to step off the east and come into the center. The integration of the heartbeat, entering your unique wholeness. And here we're finding a beautiful fire burning steadily to bring your offering, all that was hard to let go, all the coping mechanisms that enslaved you, entrapped you, and entangled you, all what you couldn't see what you were in consciousness, conscious of. All the wounds, the pain that held you. Whatever is left now, bring this offering to the fire to burn it all away. As the fire is transmuting everything faster than any other element, Yet it's warm and kind. Allow this to burn what you're bringing in. To truly integrate your four directions on the medicine wheel through the chakra. And 
then bring it all to the heart and to your heart beat. That connects you to Pachamama, Papa Tunuku, Mother Earth, Gaia, and also in Titaita, the cosmos, the universes, source, and the spirit world. Enjoy that moment of wholeness, your unique wholeness and the collective wholeness. Enjoy that moment of connectedness, the power, the state, the quality of belonging and being connected. Enjoy the moment of togetherness. Enjoy the moment of trust and joy. You may have walk timelines, dimensions. You may have taken your soul on a journey to pick up those lost pieces. You may have journeyed on the ancestral lines. Be grateful in that moment. Receive the blessing of the Chakana Medicine Wheel and offer your blessing too. And now it is time to come back. And we're walking away from the Chagana Medicine Wheel. You're feeling lighter. You're feeling freer. You're healed. Thank you for your courage to come here today. So we're coming back to the bridge and it's time to say our goodbyes. As you're going your way again, coming back in your space and time, Clicking your luminous body with all of this amazing shifts and healing and integration into your symbolic and physical body. And enjoy how it sinks all in. into all dimensions, into all realities, into all cells, into all atoms, into all systems. And slowly come back. Open your eyes and smile. Thank you for being on this journey with us.